Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Subnautica. We are hopefully going to be going on a little adventure. We're going to be taking the Frith Marine, which has been parked up there for absolutely ages, because we've been dashing around with Billy Nomates. Uh, but we're going to take the Frith Marine, we're going to load Betty Nomates into the Frith Marine, we're going to take it off over that way to the cave entrance. We're going to slide our way slowly and carefully into the cave and we're going to build ourselves a little outpost. We're going to build a base down there, at least that's the plan, and we are going to sort of go from that point. Now, at the moment, I'm thinking that we, we do want some materials for some different things. We could try to build a thermal plant in there, but I was thinking I wouldn't actually worry about that. What I was actually thinking is I would build a nuclear reactor. So I need plas steel, advanced wiring kit, and some lead. Now the advanced wiring kit, we did sort of figure that out. There was another thing I wanted as well. I want a Cyclops shield generator. I think that would be really useful. While we're down there, I think that would be really awesome. Cyclops docking bay repair module um, may also be useful, but I mean we can repair our stuff with other things, so I don't really need to worry about that too much. Uh, decoy tube. Engine efficiency, I think we've already done that one. Uh, but no, it's this one right here. So I want two advanced wiring kits so far for the different things that I'm going to want. Um, one of which we're going to use, one of which we're going to take with us. Uh, there was another thing as well that we wanted to build. And we want to build this in... I want to build one of them in the Cyclops. And I want to build another one in our new base. Uh, if I can just find the recipe here for it. I mean, it's not in the mod station. It's not those. Uh, it's got to be here somewhere. There it is. Um, fabricator, right there. That's just table coral. One table coral, titanium and gold. Okay, so what we're going to need for this is we're going to need copper. Because to make the... Oops, there. We also need silver. We need to be able to make two wiring kits. Uh, so we need four silver. And then these, we're going to need four gold. Um, and then in order to uh, that, I want four coppers. Uh, in order to be able to make that. Because I need it for that. And I need some more gold. So I need... Basically, uh, well, six gold, six gold, four copper, four table coral, and uh, four silver. So let's just take a look in here. The gold shouldn't be a problem. I've got a load there. I got one silver at the moment, and then this one over here has got nothing. This one over here has again doesn't have, but we got the gold. So the gold is not a problem. And then if we look in here, we've got four table corals, which is enough for those two. I need another table coral for the other bit. I got one, I got two more silver ores there, which is great. Uh, so yes, we do need some more silver. We're going to need a load of quartz for some other things. Uh, limestone chunk, it's not actually limestone. Well, yeah, we do. We want limestone chunk. So we'll start by scanning some limestone. We're going to go and search for limestone. Um, so we'll go out here and we will start swimming around. Oh, can I go in here? Have they, have they respawned yet? I know that we only just triggered these uh, crash fish in here. If they've respawned, yes, they have. I did it. I got it. I've actually managed to scan it. Brilliant. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to scan the crash fish. We haven't been able to scan that one yet. We're slowly getting through and scanning everything now. This is brilliant. Right. Unusual species have developed an emergency defense mechanism based on mutually, ass mutually assured destruction. Forward mounted eye enables a creature to identify and track potential predators. Sulfur plant. The sulfur plant has evolved to feed on sulfuric compounds secreted by the crash fish, which makes it nest which makes its nest within the leaves. Stronger, more protected plants provide superior nesting grounds, which in turn provide the plant with more nutrients from larger crash fish. Defense mechanism. Concentrations of sulfur build up in the organism over time. If the crash fish collides with something at sufficient speed, the spikes on its torso are impacted, triggering an explosive chemical reaction. Equip stasis rifle, repulsion cannon, or similar before approaching shallow caves. Well, we don't actually need to worry about it anymore because our uh, suit is actually quite well able to deal with such things. So we've got a limestone chunk, oh, that's actually over this way. Around here is down here somewhere. There's a limestone chunk somewhere inside, there's a cave in there. Where is it? What's that? Is it down? No, it's not down there. Somewhere there is a cave that has got that limestone chunk inside it and i got no idea how to, oh it's in here. No, I still not found it. There is a cave somewhere that has got a limestone chunk in it that I'm unable to reach. Completely unable to get to it. 
It is that right there. I reckon it might just be spawned below the surface, which is a bit of a shame. So let's go up here. I, so I, I need a little bit of copper from these. And I'm hoping that once we've gotten some copper from these, the scanner room will have gone out far enough that we'll be able to start uncovering some of the other bits and pieces that we want as well. I'm going to head over this way, in this wise direction. And we're going to need titanium as well. We're going to need quite a bit of titanium for various different projects. Uh, we're going to take a load of titanium with us. So if I can find metal... Sal I'll tell you what, I could just look around for some metal salvage in here for a minute while I'm also picking up these limestone chunks. So there are a few of these. There's more titanium. And any metal salvage that we get, we'll go and put that into the Frith Marine in some lockers in there. And then we can come back and we can deposit a bit more. Uh, what have we got down here? I need a table. I'm not too worried about getting the table coral at the moment. We can we can worry about that another time. Now, there they are. They're bringing in the big wrecks. Look at them. Loads of metal salvage. Loads and loads of metal salvage. How much have I got here? Let's just check in our um, inventory. Completely full. I'll go and take this over and we'll deposit it into the Frith Marine and then we can come back and we can start hacking open some of these limestone chunks that have now been identified. And go up the ladder. If I put the uh, deposits up here, because I'm going to put... Oh, I've already got a fabricator. That's brilliant. I'll process these deposits now and then I can store the loose titanium up here because this is going to be immensely useful for us for building our base. Right, that's the first bit. And we'll dump it into... Actually, I'm not going to dump it in there. I'm going to put it into this locker here. So I'll drop all of the titanium and the lithium. As, no, actually, I'll keep the lithium just for a minute because I might want that for something else. So I'll drop that in there. I've got more table coral. Right, so I've got the four back home. And then I've got the one extra, which is to make another fabricator, which I want in my new base that I'm going to be building. So I've got plenty of that. I also want to be able to make a... A uh, nuclear reactor. That was the other thing that I wanted. Just take a look at the blueprint for the nuclear reactor. Where are you? You're right down near the bottom. For that, there it is. Uh, that needs the advanced wiring kit. Plasteel. So I need the lithium for that. Yeah, that's fine. And then I need some lead. Right. So the lead and silver is going to be in the next one up. So we'll go over and we'll harvest of these limestone chunks so we've got some copper. And then, really, up that we're going to be wanting the the next uh, type of outcrop, which is. Um, oh, and I'm also going to be wanting some quartz, so I can make. Uh, I need to be able to make some glass. I want to make glass for our base, so I can make some windows and stuff. Uh, but more importantly, I um, there was one of the oh the hatch, the actual hatch to get into the base. You have to have glass, but you also need a separate piece of quartz to be able to do that. Let me just grab that one there, some titanium. There's another bit of titanium there for the metal salvage. And uh, there's, he's completely ignoring us now. They don't even seem to be bothered by us. I'm guessing it's... Um, you know, I've, I've got no idea why they're ignoring us. Maybe, maybe they've had enough to eat or something. He's probably going to come along and nibble on my toes in a minute now. Just, just, to, just to prove me wrong. I've said that he's ignoring me, so he's going to come and chew me. Just, just to say, well, actually, I'm not ignoring you. I'm not ignoring you at all, Frithgar. I'm just making you look foolish. Grab that bit there. There's just more titanium. There's too much titanium around here. I don't want titanium. Uh, there's a limestone chunk up there on that side of it. There we go. You. There's another bit of copper. And down into the gorge down here. There's a bit... Oh, no. All right, let's go down to that one. There's one above me that I wanted to get. There. And some of these are... It's the sandstone outcrops that I'm going to be looking for next anyway. Because I want some lead and I want some silver. Both of which are in here. So there's the silver. I don't think I actually need to worry about more silver. Do you get giant deposits of silver as well? I mean, I'm guessing you get giant deposits of everything. All things that you can get come in giant deposits as well as small deposits. Uh, that, that's my guess. Anyway, I've seen... I do remember seeing some giant deposits of uh, titanium kicking around. Definitely seen those. So I, it stands to reason that I'd be able to see some giant deposits of other things as well. Now, have we got any more sandstone around? There's a whole load of limestone over on this side. How much space have we got? i got space for another five items. So if I can get another couple of 
Well, actually, I'll go for the limestone. If, if I can see the limestone here, I'll go for that. Because um, I'm more likely to get copper for it. And if I can just have a little backup quantity of copper, that'd be quite handy. That's titanium in that one. And there's some copper. Uh... Oh, no. Right, let's let's go home, I think. Where is home? It was over that way. Quite a long way, but we've... Fortunately, the limestone is between us and home. I think this is going to be the last one. Titanium. I don't think I even picked it up. Yes, I did. Right. And we are... Yeah, we're now full. So, can I get home in 30 seconds? I don't think so. Let's go up. Get a little bit of oxygen. We'll dolphin it. There we go. Dolphin. That's plenty. And then we can go on back. I'm going to swap this over. I suppose I could drop some... No, I, yeah. Actually, I will. I'll go. I'll drop into the Frith Marine first, and I'll drop the titanium that I've got um, into the storage there, and then I can jump back over to the habitat, and uh, we can sort of start getting on to the next bit. So I want to make a couple of those uh, silver uh, the kits. Go up through here and onto there. I also want to make a, a battery charger. Making the battery charger is quite important. Just have a look and so not yeah not an actual battery charger a power cell charger that's what I want so if I drop that in there I've got three copper in here already so I put those in there I've got the table coral which I can uh, just come out of there I'll just, I'll just take this stuff with me for a minute uh, how much what what did I need to make this next one it's not that one power cell charger right there uh, two rubies titanium and another advanced wiring kit. How many advanced wiring kits am I going to get through? Have I got silver in here? If I've got silver, I don't think... Well, actually, I... um, Because I wanted lead as well. I know I've picked up a couple of bits of silver, but I also wanted lead. Um, In here, we don't have what I want. In here, uh, I don't have what I want. And in here, I don't have anything anyway. But what is that? A regress shell seed. I'll take that and I'll put that in the home locker. You can stay there. I know that I've got a cap in there, but I don't, I'm not really too fussed about the cap. Right, let's go in this way. We'll go in through here. Don't forget. I can leave that regress shell seed there. I'm not really sure what we're going to use that for. And so I've got a silver. Oh, I know what I want to do. Before I start messing around with that, if I cancel the limestone scan, like so. And I've got copper ores, uh, sandstone. We'll start scanning out some sandstone chunks. And while I'm doing that, I can uh, quickly lift through here. Uh, I've got some silver ores there. I have two of, which I want. And then I want those as well. I'm going to need more table coral because I actually want, now I've realized, to make some more stuff still. Uh, gold. I want to take the gold out. One and two there. And then there's more gold over here. I can take three more. That's one full one. I'll drop a couple of the copper a minute. Take those. Actually, yeah, I can drop the lithium. Because I don't need the lithium. So that I can hold on to all of the copper that I've got. Let's go into the fabricator. And then we go to electronics. We go to wiring kit. I need to make two wiring kits. Like that. I need to make two copper. I'm going to need three of these. So we'll, we'll do the others in a bit. Let's take that one and that one. And then I can make the uh, two computer chips that I need. Like that. One and two. And then I should have everything I need to make that one computer chip and gold as well. Make those two. Perfect. Right, so I got two advanced wiring kits. One advanced wiring kit. I can't actually remember what I wanted to make them all for now. Uh, one of them is not for that one. I just need titanium, gold and table coral. I've got that over the other side. I need advanced wiring kit for that. Ruby and titanium, and we'll take the power cell charger with us. We're gonna, uh, we'll assemble that one in the new home, and we'll also probably build one of those. So I need more silver yet for that. Uh, but no, it was the nuclear reactor that needed one, and then uh, further up, wasn't there another? Oh yes, it was the cyclops shield generator, polyaniline, and a power cell. Power cell down there is not deployable. It's creature decoy. We might use that at some point. Power cell equipment is in here. Sure, there's fire extinguisher, high capacities. So where is where's the power cell? Oh, maybe it's up here under electronics. That would make sense. Uh, nuclear reactor rod, 
power cell I need two batteries and a silicon rubber and that's why I have very few batteries left anymore I remember now oh no we got we got a power cell right there there that's on two percent charge that power cell I'm gonna take that one and I needed what what did I need what what was I looking at it was that one power cell I want polyaniline as well to make the polyaniline I need to uh, benzene hydrochloric acid and then gold and I've got hydrochloric I've already made some hydrochloric acids there so I want that one and I also want one gold from in here I have seriously have I not got any where what happened to all my gold oh it's there right one gold I've only got three left we're going to need more... Well, it's fortunate we're going after the things that we're going after in just a minute. So if I go into there, advance polyaniline. There we go. And that means that I can now make the power cell charger. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. It wasn't that. It was the Cyclops upgrade that I wanted. Cyclops upgrade there. It's not in the modification station. No. Uh, is it in, It's either in this one or it's in the actual Cyclops itself. Let's look at that fabric. It's not in this one. Seamoth, Common, and Torpedo. So let's go over to... What have I got on me? Uh, mostly I've just got the ingredients. Uh, the copper ore. I'm going to leave the copper ore here. No, I'm not. I'll take the copper ore with me. Let's go. Let's go over to the Frith Marine. We are soon going to have everything we need in order to start our new adventure. Captain, all systems online. Right, now, let's go into this locker here. So, I'm going to leave... Uh, do I want to... I think I'd leave both of those. Oh, hang on, no. Before we do that, no, I wanted to go back through here, and I want to go not to those, because, I mean, these here, they are on 78 and 61, and one of them's at 100%. Right, that's fine. No, I want to go to the Cyclops upgrade there. i got the shield generator. So look in here, we've got the sonar upgrade. Cyclops docking bay repair module that just needs a copper wire and a repair tool which I could make repairs vehicles I'm not really worried about that one to be honest Cyclops thermal react thermal reactor converts environmental heat energy into electrical power for use by the Cyclops might be useful I don't have kyanite I've already got one of those uh, depth module mark one I think I've got that as well but no it's this one right here that we want shield generator that I think is going to be incredibly useful to us so let's bring that one over to this side there we go, and we go into this, access the upgrades. So we've got a Cyclops engine efficiency module. We've got a depth module mark one. We want to be able to upgrade that, but now we're going to go for the Cyclops shield generator. Temporary barrier around a sub, rendering it invulnerable for a brief time. Invulnerable to... So does that mean, is that like a controlled one? Let's just have a look. So we've got engine offline, that up there. I see. Invulnerable for a short time. I don't know how long it's invulnerable for. Power 70%. It doesn't seem to use massive amounts of power. Oh, whoa. Okay, it uses huge amounts of power. So it is really good. But that has just drained a significant quantity of power. So we're going to have to be very very careful using that one I mean look at this there's 78 89 60 yeah okay so we're gonna have to be really careful using that one in future uh, now what have I got I got some lead I'll leave the lead here I've got more copper here uh, we can leave the copper behind I don't think we need to worry about that and I'll also leave that advanced wiring kit as well I'm gonna want to build another one at some point soon slide on down and we go out through here right next up we're going to want sandstone chunks. Now, where are all... Is that it? Right. We're going to want to go this way, then. We're going to get these sandstone chunks, and then we can start sort of working on some others. I've got... Right. Well, there's a collection of them over here. There's one right there. I think he's on the outside edge. Uh, and, we, yeah, if I can also spot some other stuff as well. So we've got gold. I am starting to run out of gold, so I suppose it's not a bad thing that we're getting some gold. But I, I don't need loads of it. Just going to have to keep coming up. Where is it all? Right, it's not actually going to be easy to find all of this. Because it's down in the ravines by the look of it. There's one there. Right, we've got a bit of lead. Silver. I need some silvers. Come down here. Right, there's one. 
There's a silver. Excellent. Silver ore is quite important to us. Uh, we want silver and lead mostly. The gold shouldn't be much of a problem. Oh, there's another limestone there. There's a bit more copper. That's good. Um, silver eh, for the, all the wiring kits. And we are going to want a few wiring kits. And then lead is going to be for building the base and also for building the nuclear reactor. We're going to need a bit. Because uh, we're going to try and build a nuclear reactor to run everything. We need to find the uranite crystals when we're down there. Um, I'm thinking another scanner room, maybe. If we could build a scanner room in our second base down there. I mean, I could spend absolutely ages preparing our second base. And sort of getting everything just right on there. We're going to have to at some point say, you know what? I think we've spent long enough. We, we need to, like, start advancing a little bit further. But it is very tempting to, like, build a complete base and... Every time I think, yeah, that would be about right, I then think of something else that would be really useful if we could add it into the into the base as well. Oh, okay, I've gone quite deep here. I've, I've gone far afield and I'm starting to head down a bit. We've, we've come over to this, this place. Uh, that's not a bad thing because I've got a load of quartz here that I can grab. Uh, how many of those have I got? Uh, I've got three lead. I've got four silk. Oh, that's not too bad. Right, let's grab a few quartz then. Because you need loads of glass. Um, so if I grab a couple of these, I'll grab two more. Two more of these. There's some rubies over there. I think I've got plenty of rubies at the moment, though, so I don't need to worry about them. Um, and let's head back this way. We'll pick up what sandstone chunks we can along the way. Um, but, yeah, if we're able to build another scanning room, uh, that would be really, really handy. I mean, we're going to have to get uh, a, 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 the few bits that we need in order to be able to do the upgrades for it. But I don't think that's going to be too much trouble. So there's some more lead, and we haven't had we had another gold, but we haven't had any more silver yet. There's loads of gold in the cave below our house, and that's really there's another silver. That's brilliant. Um, so we know that gold is uh, really easy to find. I mean, we can get literally tons of the stuff from all of the major deposits that are down there. So I'm not all that concerned about that. There's another gold. Um, silver is quite handy, though. I probably shouldn't be going into a cave if I've only got 30 seconds of oxygen. I should actually treat my oxygen with a little bit more seriousness than I am. There we go. Go up there and just get this. What do we got around here? There's something over there. Is there something swimming around? You know what? They oh, it's the top of the uh, it's the top of the kelp. I wonder whatever that was for a minute. It was like really, really weird. I didn't know what it was. Uh, so we've got one sandstone there. How much have I got? Right, I got loads of silver and I got some copper as well, uh, some uh, lead as well. So we're probably pretty good for that. So let's head on back. I'm trying to think of what else we could possibly want before we actually embark on our journey. We've got loads and loads of titanium up in the the Billy Nomates, uh, not in, in the Frith Marine, sorry. Um, we've got gold here. We've got a load of lead now. We've got quartz as well. We've got loads of silver. I don't think there's anything that I... I don't believe there is anything I actually need to build before I go. So really, all of these resources I want to be putting up in there. And then I can come back over and I can get some more resources and I can stash them away as well. Uh, we don't have... Actually, I don't want to be putting them up here either, do I? Uh, did I get another? No, I didn't. Right, so I don't really want to be stashing them all. Oh, I've got crystalline sulfur. I needed that for something. What on earth did I got loads? I got one uranite crystal there as well. What did I want the crystalline sulfur for? It was one. It's actually it was one of the upgrades. It was one of the upgrade modules. Let's stash the quartz in there. We can um, change that into stuff that we want in a little while. Uh, when, when we get down into the cave and we're ready to start building our base, then we can start worrying about that. Uh, we don't need to concern ourselves with it at the moment. Uh, but no, what was the crystalline sulfur for? That was quite... Uh, there was definitely something I wanted. I think it was actually one of the prawn suit upgrades. Where is the prawn suit? Where's the prawn... There's the prawn suit, right, the Seamoth. Uh, jump jet upgrade, yes! Oh, I need nickel ore. Right, well, we'll take that with us. We've, at least we know that we got it. It's just nickel ore that we don't have. Okay, let me go down here. So we're going to go back over to our base. So we're going to get... Uh, I can... Basically, I can stop scanning now. I don't need to worry about scanning anymore. We can... 
Once I've turned the scanner off, I've got gels, uh, the blood vine stuff. Welcome the... aboard, Captain. Oh, I don't want to do that. The blood vine stuff, we can worry about that another time, I think. Um, let's go through and just turn this off a minute. And we're not going to have all of this stuff in the way. Um, I don't think we'll take any of the blood vine with us. Although, actually, it might be prudent if we just take some of this stuff with it. Like, if I take some hydrochloric acid, I've got a benzene there. I can take some more benzene with us. And just like he had a couple of those items, let me get something to eat a minute. I'm just going to pick some blood oil a minute. And what we'll do... What's going on? One of those? Seriously? You're coming up... Oh, I can't do that next to my base because I'm going to punch a hole inside of it. Not a good idea. Let's just ignore him. He's, he's not done us any damage at all. So, uh, where was I? I'm picking up some blood oil. And I, you need three of these for making one benzene. So I'm going to pick three more. One, two... Oops. Uh, two and three. There we go. So I got six of those. I can make two benzene with that. And that is going to be enough then. I can take the benzene with us. Go into here and into here. There we go. Three blood oil to make that. We we'll take that benzene with us. And then we've got a few other ingredients as well. So we come out of there and let's take a look. So I want to take some lubricant with us. Uh, we'll take the hydrochloric acid and the benzene. Uh, I've got a load of rubies and that with us. So I'm not going to strip everything out of here. I'm going to take the stuff that I think is really useful. I'm going to take several ion cubes. So I'm still going to actually... Ooh. Now, this is difficult because it's dangerous taking it with us. We could end up losing some of it. The gel sacks, I will take those. We can always start growing a few more. Uh, the, we'll probably have a use for gel sacks. We'll take the silicon rubber with us. Um, I'll take a cave sulfur. I don't know if I'm actually going to want that, though. And then we look in here. i got more rubber. I'll take those two. And then in this locker here, i got a whole load of lithium. Also some diamonds. I'm going to take the lithium. So there's four lithiums. Right, there's some of the stuff. I'm going to come back and get one more load of items, I think. Jump in here. Um, we'll go running this over. So we're going to be putting the... Uh, be we're going to put Betty in here. Betty No Mates is going to go with us. Captain, all systems online. Drop the rubber in there. And then onto the next storage here. Drop all of that in. I'll bring more lithium with us. We've got ion cubes there. And then in that one over there, I'll drop in the gel sacks. Because we might want those. Uh, we can put more storages down here if we want to. A little bit later on. We've got to make sure that nothing comes along and eats our Cyclops. He's got an awful lot of resources on board. And it would be utterly and completely, totally and utterly heartbreaking if we were to lose it. Um... Now, let me decide what else I want to do. I'm going to take some water out of those filtration units. And is there anything else that I want to take with me? Uh, I got loads of rubies over there, and I got titanium fiber mesh. I will take a couple of those. Like that. And in this locker here, just in case, I'm going to take a few of these. You never know. We may want some more batteries. Uh, we've got gold with us. I'm going to leave... Uh, let's leave the rest of those ion cubes. There's nothing there that I want to take. Oh, there's one blood oil in there. Uh, magnetite. We'll take some of that. And I will take the diamonds with me. And I'll also take some lithium. Like that. I'm leaving a little bit of space. The batteries can stay. Oh, I know what I will take. I will take another one of those. There we go. And also, in here. Take those two. Like that. Take you there. And then there's another one in here. Another water filtration machine right there, which I will also take. There, so I've got some large things of water as well. That is pretty much everything that I want to take with me. Now, the uh, Betty Nomates, I don't think you can access anything on her. There's no way to... I could just enter the prawn. Let's jump in. I think we have everything that we want. We've got absolutely everything that we're going to want and need for this adventure. The jumpsuit upgrade we can't quite take yet, but what I can do is I can go over this way like this. And I'm hoping I can do that. 
Uh, no, I can't. Right, we're going to have to try. I may have to just... It might just be easier if I swim up and um, lower that one down in a bit. Because I don't think we're going to be able to get up there high enough. We do that. If I bring that up like that. It's basically just going to hang me here. Oh, no. Yes, I got it. Oh, ideal. Right. Perfect. There. Now, apparently I can access it on here. Ah, I see. Right. You go to Betty No Mates and you go there and I can access this. She's got a load of gold and she's got some magnetite on her. And I can also access this one where we've got all of our upgrades. Perfect. We've got the shield thing. We've got the materials necessary to make a um, power cell charger when we build our new base. We've also got everything we want for building our new base. Now, let's have a look in this locker. I've got some items there. What, we, what we're going to want to start with is we're going to want a load of lead on us. Um, and we're going to want a load of titanium as well. So I'm going to get rid of the lithium. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to take that lead. I'll leave a couple spaces in that locker. And I'll take this titanium out. And I don't know why. I don't actually want that blood oil here, really. It's just going to take up a load of unnecessary space. Uh... Let's put the magnetite in this one. I'll also leave the ruby behind. We can drop out those. Like that. Perfect. Now I'll go and have a look in this locker. So i got four water there. If I take these, I'll drop the waters. And that one. Ooh, it might be a good idea to keep that one. Oh, uh, table coral. No. I think I'm alright for table coral. That's the only thing that we could do with some more of. Before we go, we could really actually use some table coral on us. Uh, let's drop some titaniums back, like that. And I just need to make sure that I got lead. Pretty sure we got lead. I just need to double check that I have actually got... So I got the... Um, I got two more lead. That's it. Is that all I got in the way of lead? Oh, I got three more there. I don't have a lot. Huh. That's kind of concerning, actually. Right. Last thing we've got to get before we go is a few table corals. I'm just going to go and run and grab them in a second. I don't think there's anything else to do. There is our house. Everything's in it. It's looking wonderful. We're not coming back. Not for a while. We're going to take Betty. We may actually come back later on with the Frith Marine and um, take Billy with us to our new home. But right now, we're going to board the Cyclops. And I'm just going to come along over to here. And I'm going to drop in all the table corals there. And then I'm going to go in here and... Nope, not that one. That one over there. I'm going to take those leads there. Uh, because how? what do I need for the base? I want to put down a couple of bases so we've got some reinforcement for uh, the first bit that we make for our new home. Foundation there requires... Oh, it only requires two lead. We've got four. So we've got enough for two foundation pads and then the rest of it is fairly simple. Right. Here we go. I got. Uh, let's go and have a little drink, shall we? I don't actually need the lantern trees at all. I could just stick with having the bulbo trees instead. Uh, inventory full. I, I don't have enough room to pick any of them up. Okay, so let's just leave that for a minute then. Go to there. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are off on our way. We are going to a whole new home. A cave entrance. That's where we're going. Going to the cave entrance over there. Yeah, I'm going to just dive down so that I don't crash into that one. I crashed into it anyway. 65% power. Let me just go to here a minute and then... Where is it? I just walloped into it. I know I just walloped into it because I just... Oh, it's up there. Oh, it doesn't seem to have had any damage done to it. Right, so we're on the, on the tower here at the moment. This is the, the bit underneath in front. It's actually easier to operate this thing by using the external cameras than it is by using the inside camera, which is in here. You can't see anything in here. Now, can I put lights on while I'm driving? I cannot. I'm not able to put the lights right. The cave entrance is there, and the island is over that way. I don't think I want lights on anyway. Go and um, switch to the keel camera a minute. So yeah, we're going to want to get down through there. I've got a shield that I can use, should we need it. 
I'm hoping that we're not going to need it. This is going to be extremely... This is going to be our most dangerous task that we've ever attempted. Getting down into this cave. Now, we've got the island is over there. It's only 400 meters away. Uh... Right, well, we want to we wanna drift over this way slightly. The island is actually a lot closer than I thought it was to this cave entrance. Let me go and look around here a minute. I've got lights here. It's getting into the cave. That is the difficult bit. It's getting actually down into this cave that we want to get into. Uh, let's start bringing us down. Oh, what was that? Uh, well, I think daytime is on its way. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm lowering us down at the moment. I'm just kind of hoping and praying that we're not going to encounter anything too deadly and dangerous. It's over there for the cave entrance. This is going to be extremely difficult to get us into this cave. I think we are genuinely going to struggle to get into the entrance. Because it's, it's quite narrow, isn't it? It, it? it is difficult to sort of get around it. Now we've got suspended areas there. Uh, oh, the other thing that we've got to look at is the depth. Oh, 900 meters. We should be all right for that. So now we can start just... Right, cave entrance there. I think I actually... I, I left that like as a marker, but I left it above the cave entrance. So we come over here, and yes, I did. I definitely left that at above the cave entrance. It's like 50 meters away now. Let's go to the camera here. Right, there's our beacon. I can see the beacon there. So we're going to come here, and this is the cave entrance. So let's lower down. How far down do we need to go? And also, which way do we need to go to get in? There's the Degassi habitat. Is it in? It's, it's roughly straight over towards there, I think. Uh, this is going to get tricky. Right. I don't have the sonar upgrade. I think the sonar upgrade would actually be quite handy. There. What is that? I uh, got a feeling that is actually a ghost leviathan. I've just had a ghost leviathan. Swim past me. Do I need to go down there for the cave? Let's, let's move around. Pretty sure I just seen a ghosty boy. I'm pretty sure I did. Right, I need to go that way. Keep scanning round. I'm sure I just seen one out the front. He's got to be here somewhere. There. I just seen him over that way. There he is. Ah, right. Okay, we can see him over that way. I need to go this direction. So let's uh, let's come out of here. I'm actually facing the wrong way at the moment. 343 meters. I need to go lower. That's going to be the first thing that we need to do. But I also do need to turn around. And this is going to be the tricky bit. Uh... Yeah, I, I do need to turn around. Okay, if I go onto the cameras here, we can use these to sort of see our way round. Uh, that's the tail end there. And I need to get down there. How am I going to drop this? Oops. What am I? Am I hitting something? No, it's not coming up. As some, something's just touching us, that's all. So let's go forward a bit. Oh, it's those things. They're bumping into us. I think they are. No, we're all right here. Now, that's the direction that we need to go. Looking on the top. So we've, there's our tail, and we need to go over that way. If I can... I can keep swinging this one round. That's okay. Like that. I think we may have come into the wrong entrance here. How am I going to get... How am I going to get this thing out of here again? I don't think I am. I don't think I'm ever coming out of this, a this cave again. Right, this is the front, and that is forwards. I want to go over this way, I think. 
I'm looking around. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm good to turn. I think I need to go straight this way. That's looking good. And then if we look around above... Okay, this is all all right. If I can get over this side, I think I can then drop down and I can go further in. That's what it looks like. I can come over here. As long as I can get past that one. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's all good. We, we've got a lot more space underneath us now. There's the crab squiddy. Uh, we can start dropping down. Let's bring this bad boy down. Oh, steady. There, and... Uh, where am I going to get in there? Right, the, the habitat is over there. There's a uranite crystal over there. I'll tell you what. Let's come up to here. And... All right, 390 meters. I'm going to come off of here a minute. I'm just going to have a quick look around on foot. Because I... we got to... How are we going to get in here? I'm, I'm sure there... I'm, I bet there's actually a much easier entrance that we could use. But no, we'll just use this one a minute. So I can't go down through there. There's no way I can fit. So we know that that one is out as an option. And if we look over this way... Uh... Again, this is not an option. I can't get down through there. I'm not able to go through there. Cave wreck. Now, the Degassi habitat is this way. If I go straight forwards here, I can't get down through there. It's too big. I can hear a warper around here somewhere. Warpers I don't need to worry about when I'm actually in the Cyclops. When the Frith Marine is encompassing us, with this all wonderful, all glowing, all loving embrace, we are fine. We don't need to worry about anything. It's very, very safe. Now, can I... There's a warper there. Quite frankly, I'm not too worried about warpers at this point. Um, that thing's a bit more of a nuisance. Bye-bye. <laughs> and you. Yeah, you, you, you can go as well. <laughs> I love this thing. You go away. Right, stop irritating us. So, I think I can come down through here. And then we can come in this way. So, I need to go out here. This is the direction that we're coming in. We're coming in right over here. We've got a crab squiddy that we're going to have to worry about. And we come out here. There is a huge piece of ship over there. Right. That has got to be our entrance in. There's a warper down there. I'll ignore him. And then we can get right inside the cave. I want the Frith Marine inside the cave so that we can start building our new base. If I can get in here all right, this may be a good way of getting in and out of this place. I really hope that we can. Uh, right. Back on to piloting the sub. And... Oh, I've left it running. So let's go on to these. So I'm facing forward at the moment. I wanted to go over that way. Yes. We want to go over this way. Stay at this height for a minute. I'm going to get over this way. And it's down through there that we're going to go. We're going to come right over this way and then turn around and start coming in back the... Yeah, we basically want to come over here and just spin it round and then start coming in. And that should be alright because you look around us, there's nothing that's going to catch while we turn. So we can perform a an on-the-spot turn right here, like this. Keep it going. Keep it going. And we get to there, and then we can start lowering it down. Now, this is where we got to go a little bit slower. But we should still be all right to do this. This is... Actually, this is going to be very tight. It's going to be a very tight squeeze getting in here. I'm looking on... Right tail end of us is all right there but it's this bit here in front that is a bit more concerning uh, let's go here and I'll bring that right up as close as I can get it yep have I just hit something I hope not uh, no I don't think I have Let's 
going on? I'm lowering it down. I got a feeling I may have hit something. I don't think... No, I don't think I have. I think I'm alright. I think I'm okay. Let's just go on to here. Yeah, I've got bits... <laughs> i got warnings coming up all over the place. And I don't, I don't think I can get in here. Right, let's just bring it forward. Um, we may have to just... Do it like that. We may just have to sort of squeeze our way in like this. And it's touching the tail end of it, but it's not touching anywhere else. 64%. Uh, where's the whole integrity? I think we're all right. It's, it is it is a genuine squeeze getting in through here, but we've done it. We actually managed to squeeze our way in. I can't believe that I've done this. I've actually... Ooh, that is a tight squeeze. <laughs> okay, I've actually got a bit of room above us for getting in through the rest of it. All we want to do now is just sort of turn, guide our way in through these. Come round these bits. We should be all right. Um... One thing I'm thinking, before we go any further, let me... Engine powering down. Power down. And I'll come over here a minute. I'm thinking that it would be very prudent if I go and do this a minute. Not that one. I want a beacon. I need a copper ore. There should be one in this locker here. There we go. Take you. And go back to the fabricator. And then I go to deployables and I make a beacon. I'm going to pop out down the bottom a second and I'm going to put this beacon where the actual cave entrance should be. So I'll, I'll just call it the Cyclops entrance, uh, which is good enough for at the moment. I'm going to change that one over a minute while I'm in here in safety. There we go. And disembark. Right. Let's go back behind this one here. See, we managed to do it. We had this, it was a little bit of a squeeze. But we managed to do it. So I'm going to go to this point here. And I'm going to deposit that one there. And I'm also going to come around this side. And change the name of it. I'm going to... Oh, steady. Uh, beacon... No. Um, Cyclops... Cave. Entry. Okay. Right, I've done that. Uh, and then I got this one here who is... Hurting, actually hurting me a lot. He's about to kill me. I'm going to um, do some things to him to make him really... Really? Wow. Okay, that was close. But he's, he's gone. What is that? I don't even know what that is. But uh, my health is rather low. This is slightly... Con this is more than a little bit concerning. It's that um, I'm actually going to die when I've got my Cyclops all the way over here. This is the last thing that we want to have happen to us. We really could do without that right now. Let's go in here. Let's, let's just have the first aid kit. Um, I know that it's not full health. Now, we've got engine online. What is bumping into me? Let's have a look. Something is repeatedly bumping into me. There's those. Or is that one? Uh, yeah, it might actually be that one there is repeatedly bumping into our tail. Okay, start going, let's start inching our way forward. That's the, um, oh, I see, that's the, that's the tail up there. Oh, this is right at the very back. Ah, I see, I didn't realise that it was right at the very back. Uh, around here. Can we squeeze through? We can squeeze through here. Sort of. Right, there's a warper over there. I'm... Oh, what am I doing? Uh, I need to drop down a bit. There we go. And go on forwards. And we sort of approach the end of our episode for today. So we have managed to get the Cyclops in the cave. Okay, so we've, we've made a huge amount of progress. I was surprised that we managed to get in here. I did not think that we'd be in a position where we'd be able to bring this one over here today. I thought I'd actually have to wait until tomorrow's episode, uh, to, well, or next episode, depending if, if uh, we get one tomorrow or not. Uh, 
I don't think you are, actually. I think it's uh, a couple days' time you get another episode. Um, anyway. Uh-oh. What's attacking me? What's attacking me? What just attacked me? Oh, that one. That one has attacked me. Uh, he's up there. Or was it that one over there? There's one over there that might attack, and there's also the the bigger things that might attack. Um, no, the, the squiddies. They may attack us. We got so many things that want to eat us right now. It's it's um, it's not great. It's really not great. So we got the Degassi habitat here. I was thinking that we would put this base quite close to the Degassi habitat, um, because I think that. Right, I'm looking... Oh, there! It's that thing! It's you! Right. Creature attacks. Yeah, because I, I, we're not far from the start of the river with this one. We come out of here, so we want to... Do I want to lower down? I'm thinking maybe this one needs to stay here. Although, I'm getting creature attacks at the moment. Let's just find somewhere to park this one. If I can, if I can lower it down, this still, I still think this might be the best spot for it. We've got space all around us here. Oh, nope. Come up a bit from there. Uh, if I spin round a bit, I want to go over here. Make it round there. If I can get this in the right place, I'm not going to have to worry about the um, the squids because they uh, should be out of their territory. That's what I'm hoping. Right, we'll stop here. That should be all right, so that we can deploy the we can deploy Betty from here. Seek fluid intake immediately. Yeah, you're fine. Engine powering down. Right, we're on 63%. I don't know how you uh, go about repairing the hull on this thing. Um, anyway. That is all we've got time for today. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.